Cause it's just loose lips I try better than I sing So go ahead and enjoy So I, do you know what, I bought some decks when I was about 21. <laughs> um, <but laughs> it's quite a funny story. I got a scholarship to go to university and um, I didn't pay my fees the first year and bought some decks and moved to Ibiza. <laughs> That's why you're a gangster, mate. <laughs> my dad was not happy. <laughs> um, but I bought these decks, the 1000s, like I bought a really good setup and I just, I just was terrified to use them. But then eventually, yeah, I had a few friends with DJs and they showed me a few things uh, when I was living in Leeds. And then, um, and then, I just kind of taught myself, but I actually, yeah, I suppose I have, I've not kind of reached out to anyone and, and said, can you help me? But um, I did a course last year um, at LS, LSA, London Sound Academy. And it was really, it was really, I would say to anyone who's taught them, who's teaching themselves to DJ, if they're feeling a little bit unsure about their ability, because I did, um, I felt a bit like, well, I'm putting myself out as a DJ. I, sh I should know every skill there is and every trick in the book. And I went to have my first session with this guy. And you know when everything just clicks? Yeah. Like, within the first hour, I was like, ah. Oh. And Just that doing reassurance like, almost. Yeah. And, like, I did, I think I did six sessions with him. And by the end of it, I was like, right, okay, I'm, you know, I'm not an expert. But I had that confidence then. And it was great to just do it with just someone who – it's hard, right? Because when you ask friends – to help you to DJ, especially some guys, they don't want to teach you, they want to show off. Ah. And a few girls have said that to me, and I'm like, no, I know you can teach it, but show me how to do this. So, um, but yeah, maybe I should, maybe I should hit up some big DJs and be like, oh, mate, give us a lesson. You never know, mate, you never know. Or do you know what you'd be good at getting is uh, the dub plates, you know? This yeah. is so with Sarah's story. Yeah, oh, that's a good shout. Yeah, I need to do that. I there, maybe, maybe I could voice my own ones. Oh, it's a set story. <laughs> <laughs> what voice was that? I don't know. I don't know. Just, yeah, just Sarah's impressions. Just like, we give you a list. <laughs> That's what we do. We'll give you a list of impressions. Well, what Anyone who's watching, if you give some people who want Sarah to do an impression of, and by end of it, we'll see if we can get her doing like impressions to <laughs> give her a dub. Like an Alan Partridge dub plate. <laughs> oh my god, I love Alan Partridge, but I'm not very good at impressions, that's the thing. I'm shitting. Back of the net, we serve a story. <laughs> <laughs> let's move on, let's move on. Yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> Cause it's just loose lips. I try 